Instax Square 10 Hybrid Instant Camera. Release your creativity with Square. Now, every month we invite viewers to get involved in our camera club. And this month, our theme was Naughty Pets. <laughs> we teamed up with Fujifilm to celebrate the Camera Instax Square 10, which allows you to express your creativity in an instant with stunning direct prints from the new hybrid Instax Square SQ10. And I am joined by photographer Jenny McCarthy, of course. Good morning, Hello. Jenny. <laughs> and this month's three camera club finalists. As always, we are amazed by the standard of prints and photographs that are sent yes. in and I'm going to get started with you Pat and your lovely dog Cassie tell us all about this picture how did it come about um we live right beside the Phoenix Park so basically we take her there uh, almost every day for a walk and um we've had the I take my camera my daughter she's my daughter's dog I take the camera and she takes the dog <laughs> but we were uh, going through the park and uh, she threw a tennis ball and I she threw it at, towards me, so I caught her as she was running and jumping through the high grass, you know. She's a Springer Spaniel, She is, is a four-year-old. OK, so we used to have one of those very lively, fun-loving <laughs> dogs, lots of energy. Absolutely, yeah. And it's your daughter's dog, but you do a lot of the looking after. I get the pleasure of walking her now and again, yeah. Okay. How long have you been taking photographs for? Um, quite a while now. Uh, digital, maybe about ten years. Prior to that, then, was on film. But, uh, and what do you like to, to shoot? I like sport, actually, yeah. Right, OK, but this is a form of sport, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Taking that energetic dog out for a run. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're part of a camera club as well, so uh, they uh, have, a, presumably, been quite encouraging. Oh, yeah, no, I'm a member of a Parmestown Camera Club and uh, have been for the past six, seven years. Uh, Jenny, Naughty Pets, that was yes. this month's theme, so... What were you looking for? Well, you know, naughty pets, like it's a tricky one mm. because you have got to be so fast with your camera and to capture something like this, you, have to, you know, it's, it's caught in a split second, as you can see. Um, you know, and during the month I gave tips about natural light and getting down to their level mm. because, you know, you don't want to photograph an animal from above because that's how we see them anyhow. And I think our three finalists today really kind of nailed the theme. Yeah, but with, you're right, they're all on, on the level. Yes. They all got... Right down, right down to the yes. animal's height. That was yeah. a good tip. Everybody yes. follow that. And natural daylight, I think, is the best light to photograph animals in. Um, this shot is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Like when you look up closely and you look at the de the detail, <laughs> the tongue, the eyes, like it's just, this, there's such movement in the shot. It's absolutely incredible. And even sort of with the grass, mm -hmm. you know, and he, the, the, the dog running through the grass. It's you just, can feel the dog's energy, you, can't you? Really bounding towards mm -hmm. you. Um, it's just an incredible shot and so, so nicely captured. Beautiful, beautiful image. And the dog is looking right down the lens. Yes. It's like she knows. Yeah, really connect with the camera. Give me that ball. <laughs> <laughs> a great poser. We could all learn something from Cassie, I have to say. Well done, Pat. Our second picture, Bernie. Good morning to Good you. Morning. Good morning, and Bernie. yours is also of a lovely little dog, Chase, that you were, I was going to say babysitting, but dog sitting, I obviously. I was dog sitting, yeah. Myself <laughs> and my three boys, we love dog sitting for Chase. And um, oh, but he's a little rascal. You can see <laughs> oh that. My God, he is gas. <laughs> now this was funny because we don't have pets, so we don't have any beds or anything for the cat, for the dog. So his owners brought a brand new, spanking new bed into the house. There we are. He can sleep there. He's here for the weekend. Grand, no problem. So I'm out in the kitchen, getting the lunch or whatever things. the hell I'm doing, <gasps> and then the dog. I just hear it laughing. My two younger ones, the ten and five, are in the um, living room and you're laughing. I'm like, oh, this is great, I'm having great fun. So I then go in and I think, I'm gonna have a bit of fun with them as well. I go in and I just see, oh my God, there is <laughs> fluff everywhere. <laughs> the stuff is all over the place. So, and luckily I had my camera on the, on the desk, right? And then I just picked it up, boom, shot it. Now, so you're also a member of a camera club. So you have the camera nearby at all times, do you? Um, I should have, but yeah. not quite. But there I was, I was looking because I was after taking some photos of the kids earlier. So it just happened to be there at that I moment. It just happened to be what there. What age is Chase? Chase is two now, he would be. Two, okay. Two, yeah. So he was sort of a puppy. Oh, So yeah. we can completely forgive it. 
for its destruction. <laughs> well, almost. <laughs> you're so cute, you'd forgive me. Yes, you, you. I wasn't the one having to do the hoovering off. <laughs> Jenny, gorgeous. No, absolutely. Dog. And so cute and so innocent looking. And in terms of the theme, Naughty Pets, you absolutely nailed mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, you know, you were saying about having the camera, like really you do need to have your camera at the ready, you know, beside you. And yeah. you were really quick off the mark to, to capture this because in a split second he could have absolutely run off and you wouldn't have got the shot. And um, I think that shot is lovely in colour, Kira. Mm. Uh, I love the little bit of red in the background and I like the depth of field. You know, there's just enough in focus. It, what, what that'll do is bring you into the photograph. It, the distracting elements in the background, even though they're there, they're not that obvious. They're, they're, they're slightly out of focus. They're slightly out of focus. Yeah. So, you know, our attention now has been brought into Jace, Chase and what he's after doing. Um, I love even the little bit of uh, the, the wine colour in the front mm. uh, of the, the, the shot as well and the orange in the back. But and the light I, on it as well. The light is beautiful because he's backlit and he's sidelit um, and his coat is just coming up lovely but it's a very, very cute mm. Uh, naughty pet picture. Well done. Well captured. Well Thank done you. is right. And our final picture, <laughs> Kenneth. So I saw this picture this morning. I thought, ah, oh, look at the lovely little kitten. Isn't she just beautiful? And then you look to the left. And then I looked a little closer and Jenny pointed out this. I can't even touch it. Anyhow, Jen, Kenneth, tell us what happened. There's a mouse in the photo, basically. Oh, it's a fantastic picture. I was just changing the oil in my car and I just looked underneath and I seen this little standoff going on underneath. So I just ran in, got my camera and jumped down in front of him and took a picture. So most of us would expect, well, from, first of all, if I saw a mouse, I'd run. And I wouldn't be returning with my camera, I can tell you. But you'd expect the cat would pounce on the mouse immediately. Yeah. But it didn't. It didn't, no. For about five minutes, they were just staring each other down. It's like a little standoff. So you had time to go in, get, get the, the camera. camera. Come back out, take the picture. They were taking no notice of me. And I was able to take the picture. And we won't so. ask about what happened next. I <laughs> so, well, lived happily ever after. OK, good. That's what we want to hear. How long have you been taking photographs and where did the interest come from, Kenneth? I've always had an interest in photography. Um, like if I was ever going anywhere, I'd try a camera into the back. Um, but I'm not, not part of any club or anything, so I'm just kind of teaching myself slowly. Wow. Yeah. So sort of trial and error and, exactly, and you learn by taking a, photographs. Yeah, learning as I go along, so yeah. What do you think, Jenny? I think it's a, an incredible shot. Um, Talk about the mouse in a second, because I'm terrified. Jenny's like um, me, ooh, terrified. <laughs> uh, look at the whiskers. Look, look at the detail in the shot. And, you know, again, we'll talk about depth of field here. So the stones in the front of the picture are in focus, and then they gradually go out of focus, and it just brings your attention right into the, the, into the cat. And then you look to see what he's looking at, and you're drawn over to this... Um, Mouse. Mouse we can here. say the word, just Mouse. about. Yeah, it's just, it's, I can't get over how they stay there for so long. You know, you went and got your camera, came back out and yeah. they were still there. That's incredible. Um, quick off the mark, you know, but they didn't seem to be going anywhere. And then you were saying they just ran off. They just took off, yeah. That's so the you, tire you can see there. It's yeah, yeah. Things. Like, it's, it is absolutely incredible. And the detail in the shot is unreal. This shot wouldn't have worked as well in black and white. None of them would have uh, of today, no, to be honest. No, you needed to see the colour. You needed to see the colour and even the little bit of grass here. Like, it's an incredible shot. Well, very well captured and I can't believe you're not in a camera club and you've thought yourself, like... You will be, I'm sure, one of yeah. these days. What's amazing about it. these pictures, Jenny, is nobody had time to go and sort settings yes. and focus and refocus and take it away and look at pictures. You yeah. had to just take it in the moment. Well, you do, especially with the theme Naughty Pets. It is really in the moment and that's kind of like, I mean, they're all in incredible. They, they really, really are. They fabulous. are all incredible, but as usual, oh, Jenny, we God. have to pick one. We bit. have to have a winner. I know, I know you do. You're not getting any <laughs> better at it. You're not finding it any easier. Soft. You're too soft for this. Okay. But you did have to pick one winner, although I you're did. all winners to get yes. to the final. Yes. Which and one? it's Pat. Pat, well done. Ah. <laughs> congratulations, oh, Pat. Congratulations. And congratulations, Cassie. Yes. <laughs> Why? Why this photograph? Oh, listen, it's just... I mean, it just makes you giggle when you look at it, first of all. Just, I suppose, the shutter speed, um, you know, and, and how it's captured, the movement, um, the dog engaging with the camera, like, it just, it ticks all the boxes. And that's what I'm looking for at the end of the month. I'm looking for the one that's just going to stand out. And that just kept jumping out at me. It's an incredible shot. Well done. Pa, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I have to say, it was great just to be chosen to the last yes. three. It was incredible on its own, you know, but... 
better again to actually win. So I think Cassie will be getting some sort of a treat. <laughs> yeah, she might get some boiled chicken today. I think boiled <laughs> chicken, yeah. I think we might have to step it up from the ordinary dog food today. Well, yeah. congratulations to all three of you. What if they all won? Because um, we give something to everybody yes, here. Yes, you get a we? fabulous prize. You get an Instax 10 square camera from Fujifilm and you get a printing voucher and you get a printing voucher, guys, uh, yeah. worth 200 mm. euro as well. So well done. Incredible well, prizes from Fuji. And I hope you all continue to be inspired and take great pictures. Congratulations, yes. guys. And Jenny will be back on the 6th of November. Yes. We're going to be launching our new Ireland AM Camera Club and you'll be telling us what the theme is, but you won't tell us before then. No. So you're going to have to just tune in to on wait. the 6th of November. <laughs> thanks and congratulations, guys. And special thanks to Fujifilm for those fantastic prizes. Instax Square 10 Hybrid Instant Camera. Release your creativity with Square.